John. Where's Price? I don't know. He, uh, he trailed Eli to this cabana. He called in that he and Vickers are inside. Now there's no answer. From Price or from inside the cabana? Neither. Uh... Come on, Clark! We have a warrant for your arrest. There's no way out of there. And then, believe it or not, Dorian actually thanked me. I know. I told you. She said the same thing to me. Well, I suppose we deserve it. I mean, we are the ones who got her and David to admit that they're crazy about each other. Yeah, well, it took a while, but thank the Lord it worked. Yeah, now if we can only get them to admit that they're crazy. <laughs> I cannot imagine two people who are more right for each other than Dorian and David. Really? Mm -hmm. How about you and me? Ooh. Todd. Has he had any luck finding your mom? Not yet. Don't worry, he will. I hope so. Just thinking about my mom dying all alone somewhere. Hey, if I know anything about Todd Manning, he always gets what he wants. I better find David, make sure he's ready. Cool, I'll go with you. Bye. Uh, well, thanks, Bled, but you know, maybe I ought to see him alone. It's kind of that uh, best man groom kind of thing, you know what I mean? I got it. Give him some advice. He kind of likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I am guessing that the choice words you have set aside are for the other groom, Elijah Clark. But first, I want to find John, see how it's going. Judge Runyon issued that warrant, so that means the three little words that Eli might hear next are, you're under arrest. All right, let's do this. Oh, it's too bad. This is a really nice door. Price, you okay? Yeah, I think we'll be all right. With Clark? We were hoping you'd know. What happened? Look, I trailed him here. I was watching him across the way. And some big guy came to the door and he looked kind of shady, so I came by to check him out. You find out who he was? No. Nah. The minute I deemed myself as a cop, another guy jumped me. I just remember waking up in the bushes. Price, what is the point of doing all these push-ups, man? All right. We need to find Clark. We need to find him now. I'm going to check in with the people. Right, find out where the hell Eli went, but let's keep it quiet. Staff only. All right. All right. I'll go check the here. All right. I'll take the valet. What's going on? We lost Eli Clark. How'd that happen? Price had him coming in here to get ready for the wedding. This door's the only way in or out of this place. Price didn't see him leave? He got knocked out. That's oh. when Clark got away, I know. This can explain things. For your understanding, and the wedding will begin shortly. Okay. Be Langston, Langston. Yeah, hi. Hi. Um, uh, where exactly did uh, Blair and Eli go? I, I don't know. You don't know? No, uh, they they wanted a private ceremony. I mean, Star doesn't even know where they went. Wh why do you want to know? Oh, well, Bo and I have a very special gift uh, for them. Uh, when did they leave? I'm not sure. It was a while ago, though. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a real land view wedding if everything went off as planned. Yeah, I mean, as, as far as announcements go, uh, the, the announcement that, that Blair and Eli are eloping, I mean, that, that's a good, a good announcement. Really. Oh, Charlie, I hope this ceremony goes off without some sort of major disaster happening. Anything? No. No, this uh, has nothing to do with Elijah Clark, unfortunately. Now, if Runyon hadn't dragged his feet with the arrest warrant, we'd have Eli in custody right now. Well, this wedding was thrown together in a hurry. I, I think that uh, Elijah wanted to, to marry Blair just as fast as he could. They're gone. Blair and Eli, they've eloped. This is Commissioner Buchanan. Put out an ATL on Elijah Clark and Blair Kramer. Then I want you to search every airport, bus station, train station, uh, boat yard, and car rental within a 50-mile radius. Nobody knows where they went. They didn't even tell their own family. Uh, doesn't matter. We're going to find them anyway. Well, I'm going to go check the last place Blair was seen, okay? I'm so sorry that I didn't find out sooner that they'd eloped. No, no, it's not your fault, okay? Okay. Elijah Clark, you know, alias uh, 
Bennett Thompson, Craig Patterson. He sure managed to cover his tracks over the years. Mm -hmm. What do you need me to do? Nothing. Nothing? No, I don't think there's anything you can do. Okay. Not about Elijah, but uh, I do think that you should be the one to handle this. Okay. All right. Sure. Anything. I wish I could help you. Hey, hey. Parking valet says Eli picked up his car about an hour ago. Is Blair with him? Yeah, there's something else. Parking valet heard Eli tell Blair that he was going to give her a wedding to end all weddings. I have to wonder what is taking so long. I mean, this ceremony should be starting, mm -hmm. like soon. David's probably getting a last minute tan somewhere. <laughs> Dorian, oh, Dorian, um, I really need to speak to you for a minute. Nora, Nora, really, this isn't the time. I would think someone who's been married as often as you have would recognize that someone else is about to be married. Yes, but I just, I need to, um, I really need to speak to you in private. Oh, something you want from me as the mayor of this town. Please, call my assistant. This is not official business. Then what is it? What is this, Nora? Oh, a check in lieu of a gift. Uh, uh no. You just read it, please. Just. No. I can't read it now. Well, no, maybe in the cabana. That would be a good idea. I am okay. so sorry, but my but guests are already seated. They're waiting for a wedding. Dorian, a glorious celebration of the uniting of two souls who were destined to be together. And I, for one, do not wish to disappoint them. Okay, Dorian, you need to read this. What do you think's going on over there? I don't know. But I actually have a very bad feeling about this. Right, so I need you to check the mug shot. See if you recognize those guys that uh, were outside of Clark's command. All right. You know, something's not right. This guy Eli, he's never gotten anyone to do his dirty work before. I mean, I could take a look anyway, see if something clicks. Maybe Eli's desperate. He knows we're closing in on him. Yeah. McBain. What do you got? Cole, you're telling me no, promising me that you will get your message across? That you and I are without totally... Without throwing any punches or grabbing at his collar? Piece of cake. I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. <laughs> Nora, please! I don't have time for this! I told them to start playing, but Bo and David weren't in their cabana. Oh? Huh, Bo and David, go check in the bar, darling. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, Dorian, please. Oh, no! Please! Fine. You're relentless. Oh, Charlie, something's definitely wrong. I mean, where's David? Oh, no, David. Not again. Uh, I... There's another one. What do you got? A whole lot of nothing. No one fitting Eli or Blair's description or traveling by their names took a plane, train, or bus out of town. Did you check Eli's aliases? No hits under any of those. Uh, they may have driven over state lines. And there's got to be records, right? Gas stations, toll booths, let's look that up. No, no. Didn't recognize the ones that jumped me. You know, we got to expand our search. Let's check every private airfield within 90 miles. They may have hopped a puddle jumper to another state. Okay. Slip under the radar, find other transportation. Mm. You guys want me to go back to the country club and interview the guests? No, nah, don't bother. Nobody knows anything, nor confirm that. Besides, I don't want to involve Blair's family until I have to. There's not much they can do now, anyway. Last thing I needed for the Kramers to go into a tailspin. But I'll bet that they're dealing with another crisis right now. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Excuse me. 